Hello, hello grade 12s. Welcome to Academic Coordinates. This is an introductory video to chemical equilibrium, right? Okay, cool. Let's say you've got a reaction like this or an equation like this. You know what I'm saying? Let me first emphasize, if you've got an arrow like this or an arrow like this, right? What this means is that your reaction is reversible. You know what I'm saying? Um, they normally use an arrow like this one right here. So if your arrow is, is in this form, it means you've got a forward reaction, right? And then this arrow um, is normally used when we are actually dealing with resonance. You know what I'm saying? But don't worry about that. More emphasis in this video is going to be placed on different techniques, right, that we actually utilize when we are dealing with calculations in chemical equilibrium, right? So looking right now at this reaction, um, you might be asking what in the world is the E, the capital letter E there, and F, right? So the E and the F um, stands for the reactant, reactant, okay? And then the G and the H, these guys are the products, right? Okay, cool. And then... The small letters there, the small letter E, the small letter F, the small letter G, and the small letter H, those are the balancing um, coefficients, right? Okay, cool. We're going to engage those more as we go further. So when we speak of a reaction that is in chemical equilibrium, or sometimes, you know, you might be asked of a dynamic equilibrium. You know what I'm saying? So what you must know, guys, is that the rate, all right, of forward reaction, reaction is equals to the rate of reverse reaction. You know, that is very much important. And now, as we are going further right here, these reactants and these products will have a certain concentration, right? A, an equilibrium concentration. And the ratio of those concentrations will be depicted by what we know as Kc, right? So Kc is the concentration of products, products, Divide by the concentration of what? Reactants. You know what I'm saying? So this is Kc. So what is Kc? Is the ratio of the concentration, concentration of products and reactants. Reactants in this manner right here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys, let's just analyze one more thing on KC. So, and also just take note that these are concentrations. You might see a C right there. So, this is how we calculate KC. So, guys, so let's say our KC right here is greater than zero. What does that tell you about the concentrations of our species right here? This means that um, the concentration of our product right this square bracket um stands for concentration the concentration of our product is greater than the concentration of reactants right okay cool and then what happens guys when kc is equals to one this now means i'm sure you're screaming it screaming it at home that the concentration of product equals to the concentration of reactant all right and finally if your kc now um is less than one right but greater than zero in other words your kc is positive right here you know if this is the case it means that the concentration of your product right is less now it's actually less than the concentration of your reactant you know what i'm saying okay cool guys and also, if you've got a reaction, if you've got a reaction with pure liquids or pure solids, then these ones you do not include in your um, KC expression. Expression. 
right? Um, or you can just say their concentration will equals to one. You know what I'm saying? However, what do you include in your KC? If the state of your species are aqueous, if you see that the state is in aqueous, um, or guess, you know what I'm saying? So these are the ones that we, ex we actually expect to see, you know, in your KC um, expression or calculation, right? Okay, guys. And also we calculate KC in different ways. There is that which we call the rice method, right? And the rice there has got nothing to do with bismati rice or testic rice or whichever rice you prefer, right? So what does this mean? The R stands for the reaction. The I stands for the initial quantity, quantity. And this quantity um, or amount might be moles or it might be concentration. You know, we're going to learn more about that. Just take a chill pill for now. And then the C will be the change, right, in your amount. You know what I'm saying? Either the moles or um, either the moles or the concentration. And also, guys, just to put it to your attention that um, as the uh, as the equation progresses, right, you know, the concentration of the reactants will be decreasing when it is actually forming um, the product right here. You know. So okay, cool. Fine, and then so this so that there is a change right in the amount, and then the E right there will be now the amount in equilibrium. Equilibrium, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So we usually um um write this as a rice table R I um C E right there, you know. It's actually a table like this. You know, so R obviously is going to be your reaction. And very important, guys, for your reaction, right, it needs to be balanced. Make sure that your equation, your, 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 your equation is actually balanced, you know, um, before you can actually manipulate this. Because of if your, if your um, reaction is not balanced, then you're going to get the wrong answer, you know, and we don't want that, you know. We want you guys to get 99.99999% uh, in, um, in this coming exams. Okay, cool, guys. So, basically, this will be your reaction. Um, so, you're just going to write your reactions here, you know. So, we've got an arbitrary reaction right there. You know, um, the E of E, you know, um, your F of E. This is not a real um, 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 reaction, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and then we've got G of G. So you're going to write your own reaction right there. We're going to do a, a, an example, you know, shortly, right? So the, this I is the initial concentrate, is the initial moles if I may put it like that, that you are given, right? You might be given moles or you might be given concentration, right? So this I is the initial ones that you insert here, you know? And one thing that um, I must just put it to you guys that initially, right, when you are forming, you might find that the concentration of your product is zero. So that's why there might be a zero right there, you know? So as you are continuing now, depending on what else you are given, you might find that here you are subtracting X, you're subtracting X, and then here you are actually adding, you know what I'm saying? And so um, right here, we are actually going to add, you know, here you are actually adding um the quantities you got for the I and the quantities you got for the C. And then you're going to put them here. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it might be moles and sometimes it might be concentration, you know. Okay, guys, let us engage an example on this. I'm going to do two examples um, that we're actually going to engage and do this live, you know, in order for us to actually appreciate chemical equilibrium. And those um, 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 questions, you know, in exams, they might be 12 marks or 10 marks, you know what I'm saying? So um, just stay tuned in the next video. I'm actually going to be doing um, examples on this where you actually appreciate everything that I've introduced to you right now. 
Okay, guys, stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day.